Number eight then from the 2018 Advanced Higher Mathematics of Mechanics, a little format question here, and you recognise them immediately as parametric equations. What's it asking for? It says, the motion of a particle is described by these parametric equations here, where t is the time elapsed since the start of the motion. Find the speed of the particle when t equals three. Well, parametric equations. A parameter is a single value that will describe the position of some point on a curve. So its position can be described simply by saying, how long has this been moving for? So by this time it's been moving for three seconds. So x and y give the position of the point. Now don't find the gradient of the line. Yes, the velocity of that point moving on a curve will be tangential to the curve. But the value of the speed won't be numerically equal to the gradient. So what you want then is, what are the, where can I put it, what's the x component of the velocity at this point, and what's the y component at that point? By differentiating those, and then combining them in a vector addition. That's x dot, that's y dot, so the resultant speed, or the resultant velocity, would be this vector. So the speeds, the length of that, the magnitude of the vector, Pythagoras. So that just means the first step is differentiate them. dx by dt. Now that's a product, but I'm not going to use the product rule because it's simple just to multiply that out. t squared differentiates to 2t, 4t differentiates to 4. And if you do that, you get a mark. This is a bit more cumbersome because I don't want to multiply that out. So I'll just have to use the product rule. And of course, there's a further complication because the second part is actually a function of a function. So I'll have to use the chain rule part there. So that'll be 1 times 1 minus t cubed, differentiating the t, plus, now leave the t alone, which I've written the plus now, and differentiate this part, function of a function, out of function cubed. So multiply by the power, take 1 off the power. Inner function 1 minus t, its derivative is negative 1. So I'll just go back and change that, whoops, to a minus. Now I'm not going to tidy that up anymore. That will do for the second mark. So there are the two parts. There are the two components of the velocity. So to get the speed then, I'm going to be doing, finding the value of them and using Pythagoras. So I want x dot evaluated at 3. Just to write x dot. It's much quicker than writing ds by dt. Well, that will be 2 times 3 plus 4. So that's 10. There's not any units I can put in because there's no unit specified here. Y dot at 3. Oh, that's going to be 1 times. I'll just put the numbers in now. So it's take away 3. That's negative 2 cubed minus 3 times 3 times negative 2 squared. So that's a cube of a negative. That stays negative. That goes positive, but it's a minus there anyway. So that's 9 fours are 36. So it's minus 44. That's the next mark. Now the final mark is just for combining them to find the final speed. So the speed will be the square root then, it's just Pythagoras, of the 10 squared, and I'm putting the negative 44, but of course that's the same as 44, negative 44 squared, which you could write as a third, 2 root 509, but you're probably just going to change that to 45.122, etc. So 45.1. For the last mark. Should really have made those stand out a little bit more.